Hello everyone, welcome back to part 2 of Hacking the DSi, and in this video I'll be showing you how to make up a backup NAND file from your DS. This is a very good idea, especially if we're going to be working with custom firmware, just to get all that stuff backed up, you don't know what could happen. And just having a backup uh, NAND of your DS is just a really good habit to have, just so you don't lose any files. So, all you're going to need is that SD card that we had from last time, the same one. If you haven't already installed the homebrew menu, the camera homebrew menu, I'll leave a link to that video down in the description. But if you have that, and if you have your DS and your SD card on you, you should be ready to go. Make sure you also have a computer, and I'll see you on the computer right now. So now, with your DS's SD card plugged in, you just want to go to the link in the description. It is to download the Flip Note Lenny, and all you want to do is um, scroll down, and you want to hit this Flip Note Lenny, uh, Lenny Zip. Go ahead and activate that, and we can see that it'll download here. I'm just going to want to click on this to open it up in the downloads file, and we can see right here. We can simply just go to Extract and Extract All, and then we can just extract it just like that, and it should go extremely fast, just like that. Don't worry about that one, that just means that I already had it downloaded once, since this is a tutorial. Okay, so I'm just going to go and click on it. And in here, we're, we're just going to want to go to the NDS file, and then all we're going to need is this fwtools.nds. Once you've found that, just go ahead and drag and drop it straight onto the root of your SD card, just like that. Once it's done, we're just going to want to go ahead and click on our SD card and see FW Tools right under boot that NDS. Once you have this, you're ready to go, and I'll see you back over at the DS. Once you've done all of that with your SD card on the computer, all you're going to do is take that SD card and go ahead and plug it in to your DSi once again, like so, and then we can just go ahead and boot it up like normal. Again, if you haven't already watched my other video, please do go ahead and do that because this will not work for you. You must have the camera hack for the DSi homebrew menu installed. If you don't have that, this will not work. So we're just going to want to click on the camera app and then just go make sure you have SD card clicked again and then click on album and to open up the DevKit Pro HP menu. Now here I'm just going to go ahead and hold it up. We can just come right here and we see at the very bottom we see the FW Pro. Go ahead and focus in. Alright, and we can just go ahead and hit A on that to load this up. And then right here you'll have a ton of options. You'll have backup firmware, dump uh, BIOS, backup user settings, backup Wi-Fi settings, or backup DSi NAND, and that's the one we're going to want to do, so you're just going to want to click on A on that, just like that. And now, you're just going to want to let this sit, this can take a while, and I'll see you back when the NAND backup is complete. Okay, so once the NAND backup is complete, you should see a message right here where you add all those numbers, it should say saved nand.bin.sh a1 and once you have that then you're all good and done and you can just go ahead and go to this exit button right here and just hit a on that and then you should be able to exit out normally all we want to do is just power down our dsi and then just go ahead and unplug our sd card and i'm going to show you the nand backup on the computer right now okay so back on the computer after you have plugged your sd card into the computer we should have this new file between DCIM and private, this new uh, folder that starts with FWA. If we go ahead and click on that, here we have the new nan.bin and the new nan.bin SHA. So there is all you need for you to restore your DS, just in case anything goes wrong, which it shouldn't, but just in case you make a mistake while following this, these um, tutorials. But here you go, you're all covered. If you like this video, please do go up and subscribe. If you haven't already, please do let me know. Um, and just go ahead and subscribe. And leave a like on this video and comment me down below if this video was any way helpful to you. 
again, I'll be making more videos in the future um, about this. And yes, thanks so much for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.